Hello everyone, and welcome to the second of many series I'm going to be running on this channel. This series is really all about games that I want to review in general, but don't necessarily think are awesome. So anyway, in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a free-to-play game, Antenna, and why this game came so close to being a really interesting game, but fell short at the last minute. Okay, so Antenna is a game that was recommended to me by my friend, and after I heard what kind of game it was, I was intrigued enough to download it and record my playthrough. It's a sand-based puzzle game, and honestly, with my only other experience of a sand-based puzzle game being Rhythm Thief for the 3DS, I didn't have very high hopes. It's supposed to be a short but atmospheric story about a robot that's lonely, and sets up Antenna to connect to a radio to answer his questions. Want to know how I know this? It says it in the Steam description, and if I hadn't seen this, I wouldn't actually have any idea as to what I just played. The game does nothing to hint at the robot's loneliness, and while sure, the world's atmospheric with a unique and kind of ambient soundtrack, there's virtually no development of the character, story, or anything in the entire game. But okay, let's analyse this properly. You start off the game with a quick time event and there are lots of them throughout the game. Now, this doesn't ruin a game for me, and I can't deny that the animation is nice in this event, but it doesn't attract me to the world, and does literally nothing to set up the story or have any relevance to the game. Also, fun fact, this section didn't work the first 12 times I started the game, and when it finally did work, I wasn't recording, so I just had to keep restarting the game, just hoping that it would eventually work. Now, anyway, then you're presented with this which I suppose is supposed to be a radio tuner? It gives you no indication of what to actually do, so I pressed X and it beeped, and then I pressed question mark, and the puzzle was over. Okay? Here's my first problem with this game. There's nothing wrong with having a game void of tutorials like Mega Man X, or something of the like, but if you choose this route, you still need a way of letting the player figure out the controls, or at least the goal of the story. Antenna gives no indication of what you're actually trying to accomplish, which is probably the main thing you need to know to solve a puzzle. But anyway, you spawn as a robot, and you're then allowed to explore the world. It's incredibly linear, but honestly I don't really have a problem with this because the game's trying to tell a story. But here's where the second problem that I have with this game comes in. It's so slow. Even sprinting, which I only found out that I could do using common sense, not thanks to any hint the game gave me, easily 90% of my game time was just spent walking. Oh yeah, and on the subject of the game time, how long do you think this short experience of a game lasted? Two hours? One hour? No, it lasted me 18 minutes on my first playthrough. Now, this game was made by a small team, so I can appreciate the style, graphics, soundtrack, and everything about the game. Apart from this, I respect the developers for creating this nice little sandbox world, but that's exactly what it feels like. A demo or something. Everything about this game sets it up to be good with a lovely set of graphics and a decent soundtrack, but the quote-unquote storyline and incredibly easy or unfathomable puzzles really just ruined this game, and it feels like they gave up halfway through developing it. Hell, if this was the first chapter of a game, I'd be hella into it. It's actually really fun, but it's just so short. And I know that indie studios can't develop huge games, but releasing this, even as an experience, feels insulting. Anyway, let me show you what I mean. See this puzzle? As usual, no cue as to what to do, so after a little while I realised you have to match the tones of these two blocks in the middle with the ones on the outside. The puzzle's fine, but really easy for anyone who understands the puzzle, and completely impossible for anyone who doesn't. As I look at the Steam reviews, I'm seeing that a lot of people rate this game positive for the puzzles, and a lot of people rate this game negative for the puzzles, because only some people figure these things out quickly. In this other puzzle, for example, you're supposed to press the letters ranging from low tone to high tone, but what's stopping people from trying to do it from high tone to low tone? There's no indication you're supposed to do it this way, and that's the kind of thing that annoys me about this game. 
But anyway, I've ranted about this enough. Do I hate this game? No. Was I disappointed? Yeah, I was. But this game could have been a beautiful game that really did make the player feel something, instead of this short mess of rush puzzles and non-existent universe development. It's actually a beautiful game, and I was really hyped about it when I started, and being a free-to-play game, I was really looking forward to seeing what this game was like, and hopefully doing a what makes this game awesome about it. However, I can't call this game awesome after my experience. If they had just left the game, added a really good storyline to complement the rest of this beautiful game, I'd happily call this game awesome. And it's not like I didn't like the part of the game that they've added, I was just annoyed at the fact that the one shortcoming this game had completely ruined the game. But anyway, all of that taken into consideration, I'd probably give this game a 5 out of 10, which may seem like a high score considering what I just said, but I honestly believe this game is extremely well developed for an indie game. I mean, just look at it, it looks beautiful. And the soundtrack, while being odd, is nice, and the game does have a nice ambience to it. It just falls short in a few areas, which happen to be, in my opinion, the most important areas of a game, and it completely destroys the experience they were going for. I hope this game is expanded in the future though, and if you have any opinions on the game that I haven't said or that you believe differently to me, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, which, just saying, may be a while as I have lots of stuff going on at school at the moment. Anyway, thanks for watching, later!